You're watching Tag TV. Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I am your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Amid COVID-19, many city dwellers started realizing that they may be restricted to one place for a relatively prolonged period of time and are flocking to offbeat destinations to self-isolate around nature. So today, we take you to Loktak Lake in Manipur, which is being thronged by a number of tourists who want to spend their time in the serenity of nature. Leaving behind the noise of the city, tourists are flocking Manipur's Loktak Lake to surround themselves with the serenity of nature. Located near Moirang in Bishnupur district of Manipur, Loktak is regarded as the largest freshwater lake in the northeastern region of India. Spread over an area of 286 square kilometer, the lake has earned the laurel of being the wetland of international importance under the Ramsar Convention. The iconic lake is famous for its circular floating swamps, also called fumdis in the local language for catching fish. Resembling like miniature islands, they are found in various forms floating in the lake, covering a substantial part of its area. This lake is considered one of the best tourist attractions in the state. The best USP of the state our uh, unique selling proposition is Loktak. Whenever a tourist, a visitor come in the state, the first destination they have, choos they have chosen is uh, Loktak. So I took Loktak as serious as what so many, what to say, important. Why? Because it will help to boost the tourism sector in the state. Small structures like huts have been built up on the Manda Island for staying purpose. Tourists can stay as long as they want, ranging from days to months. Here they get to enjoy a complete rural lifestyle. They cook themselves, spend their time playing karaoke or do swimming in the crystal clear waters of the lake. A boating facility has also been introduced by a Loktak Lake Tourism Development Society for tourists, enabling them to enjoy the nature by close. It's an excellent, uh, excellent experience. Uh, uh, as I know, uh, Loktak uh, about uh, so many uh, sources, Loktak is one of the uh, uh, world's biggest, I think is one of the uh, uh, biggest uh, floating freshwater lake uh, and also in the northeast mm. so I get an opportunity to visit this uh, Loktak lake once so mm. I come here yes. current uh, view uh, it is excellent mm. excellent in terms of uh, environment and its cleanness mm. and everything is uh, excellent we are come here for the Loktak lake is for uh, freshness for the natural beauty mm. so it is more than sufficient to uh, having the natural and real uh, beauty Loktak is like an entire ecosystem in itself with a rich varied collection of flora and fauna. It is home to 233 species of aquatic plants, more than 100 species of birds and 425 species of animals including the Indian python and sambar. The major attraction in the lake is Kibul Lamjao National Park located in its southwestern part and is the only floating national park in the world. It is also home to the endangered Manipur bro antler deer Sangai. Presently, the lake is under the supervision of the Loktak Development Authority, which is trying its best to develop and preserve the lake. India is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit, but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. 
The unity of these myriad faiths can be very well witnessed at the dargahs of Sufi saints. So today we take you to dargah of Hazrat Niaz Ahmad Sahib in Bareilly city of Uttar Pradesh that has been serving as a bridge between different castes and communities. An epicenter of faiths, a place where brotherhood and bonhomie between as many religions could be seen flourished and prospered at its best. The Dargah of Hazrat Niaz Ahmed Sahib, situated in Bareilly city, is one such melange of diversities. Situated in Khwaja Kutub area of the city, a number of devotees visit the Dargah throughout the day. Whether one is Hindu, Muslim, Sikh or from any other community, the aroma of the shrine serenades them into cheerfulness and a belief of fulfilment ensues in them. खानकाह नियाजिया एक ऐसा द्वार है जहाँ पे हिंदू मुस्लिम दोनों लोग आपस में मिल करके चाहे यहाँ पे जश्न चिरागा हो चाहे कोई सा भी त्यौहार हो आपस में मिल करके मनाते हैं ये चीज़ देखी गई है और ये विदेशों तक इसको देखा गया है यहाँ पे खानकाह नियाजिया की ज़्यादा चीज़ें देखी जाती हैं यहाँ पर जिस तरीके से यहाँ से पैगाम जाता है हिंदू मुस्लिम दोनों को एकता वाली बात जाती है वो बनी रहे और चाहे बरेली की बात हो चाहे विदेश देश विदेश की बात हो यहाँ से एक पैगाम जाता है कि आपस में दोनों लोग मिल करके सारे लोग अपने प्रोग्राम करें बरेली नहीं पूरी दुनिया में अपने भाईचारा इंसानियत गंगा जमनी तहजीब मोहब्बत जो भी सूफिज़म के अंदर खूबियाँ हैं उसके लिए जानी जाती है और हर तकरीब में हर मौके पर आपको गंगा जमनी तहजीब हिंदू मुस्लिम एकता की झलक दिखाई देती है एज इन मोस्ट ऑफ द टेम्पल्स एंड रिलीजियस साइट्स द लाइटिंग ऑफ लैम्प्स एंड बर्निंग्स ऑफ इंसेंस स्टिक्स इज अ कॉमन ट्रेडिशन अमंग द डेविटीज हु कम टू प्रे एंड ऑफर दे ओबिसंस टू द सेंट पॉपुलरली नोन एज खन के न्याजा अमंग डेविटीज An event named Jashne Chiraga is organized every year, which is attended by thousands of devotees. People of all faiths unite on this occasion and celebrate the festival just like people celebrate Diwali. Bareilly में एक यही दरगाह है खानकाह नियाजिया जहाँ पर मेरी नज़र में सभी धर्मों के लोग सभी वर्गों के लोग यहाँ आकर हाजिरी देते हैं और दुआ मांगते हैं क्योंकि ये दरगाह जो है सूफी सूफिज़म से जुड़ी हुई है और जो यहाँ के इस समय गद्दी नशीन हैं शबू मियाँ साहब ये पूरा परिवार बाबा फरीद के पंचज हैं और बाबा फरीद के बारे में तो कुछ कहा ही नहीं जा सकता वो बहुत महान हस्तियों में थे हमारे भारतवर्ष में The Dargah of Khan Ke Niaza is a perfect example of communal harmony that is witnessed throughout the length and breadth of our country. The solidarity among the different religious communities has remained a hallmark of India's unity since time immemorial. And now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Indian actress Aishwarya Rai Bachchan along with world renowned film score composer AR Rahman and filmmaker Mani Ratnam promoted their upcoming historical drama film Ponian Selvan 1 in a star studded evening in Mumbai city. Bachchan will be seen on the big screens after a gap of 4 years and will be playing dual roles of a queen mother Mandakini Devi and herself Nandini. Like, 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 the human um, journey of every character that is um, eternal that's relevant even to date and up ahead because every uh, uh, every character is uh, is human and human conflict human um, emotional journeys the roller coaster of what what you go through irrespective of the uh, situation in which you're, you you come from that that is something that's relatable and relevant at every point in time Ponian Selvan is made in Tamil language and is based on a novel with the same name and narrates the story of Raja Raj Chola the great emperor of the Chola dynasty which ruled southern India for almost 1500 years The film is directed by Mani Ratnam and the music is composed by Rahman which is considered one of the most popular combinations in Indian film industry
couples dressed up their children and some older boys in bright, shiny monkey attires in Amritsar city of India's northern Punjab state as a token of respect to the Hindu monkey god Hanuman for blessing them with a male child. The Langur Mela is celebrated in conjunction with the nine-day Hindu festival of Navratri to please Lord Hanuman and seek blessings for a healthy and long life for young boys. तो उसमें बच्चे को लंगूर बनाया जाता है जैसे जिसकी कोई सुखना वगैरह होती है जिसके घर में बेटा वगैरह नहीं होता है तो वो हनुमान जी से अपने बेटे के लिए औलाद के लिए ना औलाद प्राप्ति के लिए भगवान जी से मन्नत मांगते हैं तो कई वैसे ही बना देते हैं बच्चे को कई खुशी से लेकिन मैंने तो बच्चे को सुखना से बनाया भगवान जी ने मेरे को मेरे घर में लड्डू गोपाल जी दिए Kids were decked up by their parents in gold and silver designer clothes they also carried a colorful staff and wore makeup to highlight their features Couples besides observing fast also sleep on the floor shun footwear and recite verses from the Hindu epic Ramayana some children also follow their parents by observing fast Lord Hanuman the deity which blesses devotees with children remained a bachelor committing his life to the service of Lord Ram Indian stars glammed up the red carpet event of Amazon Mini TV Movie Festival in country's showbiz capital Mumbai. Bollywood actresses Neha Dupia, Shreya Chaudhary and Shreya Pilgaonkar were some of the stars who attended the gala event. I'm really excited because mere khas dost hain is mini movie festival mein so I'm here to cheer for Mrinal Datta and Shreya Chaudhary. Unki film Condition Supply and it's great because I love Sikha. और सिक्ख्या बहुत अच्छी फिल्म बनाता है सो आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दैट Amazon Mini TV a free video streaming service premiered five slice of life movies including Condition Supply Good Morning The List and the critically acclaimed short film Vakeel Babu India is a land of religious diversity where people of all faiths have been living together in harmony for years Mutual tolerance and regards for each other's beliefs is an age-old tradition in the country. Example of citizens trying to preserve this tradition can be seen in every nook and corner of the country. The Muslim garland makers and sellers who have been carrying out their business in Udhampur district of Jammu and Kashmir are one among them. Take a look. Making and selling of flower garlands is not a big thing. but it becomes unique when a person is making it specially to be used by other religious communities setting an example of communal harmony are these muslim men from katra city of jammu and kashmir who have been making flower garlands for their hindu brethren on the festival of navratri they mostly sell these in and around udhampur district beside a temple so that devotees who come to pay their obeisances do not face any problem in getting a flower garland ऐसी खुशी होती है कि अब खुशी होती है हमारा तेजी से काम हो जाता है बढ़ जाता है यही हमारे बच्चे बुच्चे भी इसी कारोबार और बच्चे यही कारोबार करके स्कूल पढ़ते हैं यही हमारा काम है हमारा हिंदुस्तान में भाईचारा ऐसा ही रहना चाहिए और ऐसा ही काम चलते रहना चाहिए तो बहुत अच्छा काम है These garland makers have a lot of respect for the beliefs of Hindus and feel happy to sell their products to them. These men make these garlands with a lot of hard work and dedication and wait eagerly for the Hindu festivals when their flower and garland business is shoot up. Locals feel overwhelmed with respect for these people giving out loud the message of brotherhood and unity. Aur hame bhi khushi hoti hai har saal khushi hoti hai narate aate hain na hame khushi hoti hai hame door pe bante hain aur hamari janta ko phool milte hain idhar hum yehi hote hain koi कोई बंदा नाराज न होके जहाँ से चले जाए वापस नहीं जाए कोई भी बंदा आएगा लो जी सर देंगे हम क्यों हमारी ये तीन चार पीढ़ी है काम करते हुए सच एग्जाम्पल्स प्रूफ दैट इंडियंस पर यूनिटी ऑन दी हाइस्ट पेडिस्टल एंड स्टैंड अनडिवाइडेड एंड इंटीग्रेटेड डिस्पाइट ऑल कल्चरल एंड रिलीजियस बिलीव And now we will see how India has successfully countered the global economic crunch and is emerging as one of the most attractive investment destinations around the world. Take a look. The world's leading economies are yet to get over the fiscal challenges caused by the COVID pandemic and its aftermath. 
The World Bank has also predicted a global recession in 2023, which has further increased global anxieties. Among the very few countries who have successfully countered the post-pandemic crunch, India was one of the earliest to invest in its infrastructure, digital economy, and other economic reforms. India's early mover advantage puts it in a better position to emerge from the pandemic in a stronger position. Via prioritizing macroeconomic stability by putting in place a framework to combat inflation, GST reforms, creating a common market, opening of new sectors, privatization and building infrastructure, India has efficiently overcome the prevailing challenges with a strong political will. Inviting investment in the manufacturing sector has been an integral part of India's successful economic plan as it climbs up the ladder to reach its next goal of being the third largest economy in the world. Vedanta Limited recently joined hands with Taiwan-based multinational contract electronics manufacturer Foxconn to invest over 19 billion USD in India's Gujarat state. The two companies will set up a semiconductor fabrication unit, a display fabrication unit, and a semiconductor assembling and testing unit. The assembling of such precision technologies requires close cooperation with local governments, which the companies have successfully achieved after long discussions on logistics. The semiconductor plant will create 100,000 direct jobs and will also provide a multiplier effect on other industries that are linked to the production of semiconductors in the region. Today, how is our education? How is our knowledge? How are our children? उनको ये लैपटॉप उनको ये सेलफोन आज हमारे गरीब लोग 15000 20000 रुपए का नहीं खरीद सकते इसकी दो ही रॉ मटेरियल होते हैं एक ग्लास और एक सेमीकंडक्टर उसके अलावा बाकी चीजें हमारी जो स्टार्टअप हैं हमारे जो फैक्ट्री वाले हैं वो उसको बना सकते हैं तो इसके चारों तरफ जो क्लस्टर बनेगा मैं उसका सपना देख रहा हूं Recently, India overtook the United Kingdom as the fifth largest economy in the world. Experts suggest that by 2030, India, with its strong domestic market, will become the world's third largest economy, a result of its timely actions to handle the global economic crisis. India's domestic market is also attractive. And then there is portfolio inflows, which uh, while they, by definition, are volatile, we have seen reasonable inflows happening in recent months, uh, even in that. So I think overall, uh, India remains a very attractive um, destination for uh, direct investment. The world's leading companies are looking towards the Indian market for investment opportunities. India's Commerce and Industry Minister, Piyush Goyal, during his recent visit to the United States, interacted with eminent business persons, U.S. officials, and industry leaders to fortify the partnership between the two nations and strengthen trade and economic ties. The top CEOs of American companies have expressed their confidence in India's growth story. India is going to be the fastest growing GDP in the world for the next decade and probably for two. It's well within reach of the $5 trillion. And the only question is how fast does India get there? And India has the trust and partnerships at a time that's very important where, candidly, China is losing that trust and that partnership. So on everything from startups to uh, joint investments in manufacturing to semiconductors, this offers an opportunity for India to lead. And I think that India can and will lead. Minister Piyush Goyal invited foreign investors and entrepreneurs to be a part of India's journey towards becoming a developed nation. He calls it a golden time to invest in India. Are open to engage with like-minded uh, countries helps make India probably the world's best destination today. India has a young working population, which will be a key driver of economic growth in the country over the long term. The Capital Economics, while quoting United Nations data in its research paper, said that India's working age population will increase by around 150 million between 2022 and 2050. The burgeoning domestic market, especially in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities, will help India in its march up the global rankings. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus.
a new exhibit is putting the kaleidoscopic work of English artist Bridget Riley on full display in the US for the first time in over 50 years. 91-year-old Riley is one of the UK's most renowned artists. We are in an exhibition called Bridget Riley Drawings from the Artist Studio. And the exhibition has about 90 drawings which comes directly from the artist's own collection from her studio in London. She's famous for creating complex and colorful artwork that can boggle the mind over the course of her over 60-year career. The exhibition being shown at the Art Institute of Chicago features nearly 90 drawings handpicked directly from Riley's private stash at her studio in London. The exhibit aptly titled Bridget Riley Drawings from the Artist Studio opens to the public on September 17. Japan's famous Tokyo Game Show was organized after a span of three years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It is a platform where visitors can play games using virtual reality and motion technology. Around 605 different companies from 37 countries and regions participated in the event to display a wide variety of electronic games. We create motion experiences, motion games, and like what we're showing here is some motion music rhythm games, and then we have motion-based party games, we have motion-based driving games, so we create games that will bring people together. It's also very accessible that you don't need any controllers to, do, to play. You only need to play the game with your body. So this is the type of games that we create. Total Game Show being one of the biggest game show in the world, we're coming here and want to bring our games to the Asian market. We're going to bring our games to Japan. Previously, the Tokyo Game Show introduced video games that were connected to the television, followed by portable games, online games using internet. The introduction of virtual reality games is the latest addition to the list. The Tokyo Game Show is a major contributor in the growth of Japanese gaming industry. You are not listening to any regular vinyl record. You are listening to the sweet sound of a sugar-based alternative to vinyl. According to its developers, these records could be pivotal in revolutionizing recorded music and helping to decarbonize the industry. UK-based Evolution Music says their goal is to make it easy for labels and artists to stop using PVC to make their records, a practice which produces toxic chemicals. They say the use of their sugar-based biopolymer requires no alteration of record pressing plants, existing machinery or production processes. Evolution Music CEO Mark Carey says their environmentally friendlier records have been four years in development. Recording artists will be keen to change to make the switch. According to a music industry climate action group, music declares emergency. Over the past decade, Sales of vinyl records have been increasing, despite the popularity and instant access of digital media and streaming sites such as Google and Spotify. Some believe this growing emotional appeal comes down to a richer sound, cover art and being able to hold a physical copy. But Carrie believes as soon as one major recording artist or band uses bioplastic instead of vinyl, the industry will never be the same. The logistics industry is paying attention to technology that automates work. Automation technology can bring efficiency and solve challenges that Japanese industries face. Subaki Moto Chain is an industrial chain that supports Japanese manufacturing. The know-how of generating power cultivated in its long history 
contributes to the technology of full automation. The industrial arm type robot uses image processing and AI technology to identify uneven packages and efficiently pick them up. The fusion of the spirit of manufacturing and the latest technology of AI will evolve logistics technology. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.